I am Joe Sutton. I'm Zach Fleming. I'm Katie Jezza. Hi. I'm Zoe Cole. I am Austin Demir. I'm Felicia Cunningham. I am Kelsey Richards. And we're Theater on Purpose. I joined Theater on Purpose because um, I saw it last year and I noticed that it's, it's a way to make a difference through theater and I just thought that was a very powerful thing. I was interested in theater on purpose because I thought that it was a really interesting way of using theater to impact other people's lives. I really have a passion for acting. I, I never knew what theater on purpose was. I only heard like little things about it, but I never, I didn't know exactly what I was getting myself into until I auditioned. When Brian chose us, he asked us if we had any researching skills and first thought was, huh, we're theater people, why do we need to do research? I, I thought, why, why are we doing guns and violence? Like we did sex trafficking, which is like a huge deal, and what's, what's with guns and violence? I grew up around a lot of rifles and shotguns, um, all for sport. I was taught to shoot at maybe age 10. I competitively trap shot for almost three years. I grew up, uh, well, part-time in Chicago, part-time in Minneapolis, both. Um, we're very impacted by guns. I've had friends that have been shot and killed. I went on a missions trip to Cambodia when I was in eighth grade and um, I remember walking through the airport and just having like these huge eyes because there were these soldiers walking around with these huge machine guns that they were carrying um, unconcealed. And so ever since then I've kind of had a fear surrounding guns and just like kind of didn't want to touch them. There's either um, lots of gun control um, to the point of not letting guns be sold at all to the public and, and then there's the other side of the spectrum where guns should be in every single gun cabinet in every single home of every American. The play is not about choosing sides when you see it, gun violence and stuff you might think oh they're trying to ban guns or something but that's not, that's not our aspect. We're just trying to start a conversation and we're not trying to sway people towards a certain political side. It's not about politics. It's not about um, parties, lines. It's not about any of that. It's, it's about fear and faith and who we are as people. It really goes back to fear and faith. Then Brian slowly started explaining to us how it's a lot, it's a, about a lot more than just guns and violence. It's about like it's a heart issue. Violence is is so involved in uh, just uh, American culture today. Playing Call of Duty, playing Battle Battlefield, uh, Call of Duty, uh, Grand Theft Auto. All I knew was gun violence, was gangs and gangs and shootings and shootings and murders, and uh, it kind of opened my eyes to see just both sides of the story. I think we need to talk about this issue because the more the more I've read about it and the more that we've been talking about in theater on purpose, the more I'm realizing that it's not really just about like whether someone owns a gun. Like a gun is a very material object thing and that can't like objects aren't good or bad. They're they're neutral. The American culture sees the church as very like conservative, gun toting Republicans and that our, our desire to hang on to our guns and our rights is messing with what the church, what the church's image is in our culture. Um, and I think that's, that's a problem. It's really important that we bring it to the church because they've stayed so silent on it. The church is not involved. The church needs to be Christ's example. Jesus never shied away from things or sugar-coated things and neither should we. I just started to notice guns everywhere on TV, on, on the news. For some reason, America just puts it up in the headlines and then um, a couple weeks later, it's, it's as if it um, never happened. You know, those people are still mourning, but uh, we go about it as if it's a normal thing and that's what's corrupt about it is how could we ever be comfortable with that and think that it's normal. It really surprised me just how much they were in our culture and how much I had been desensitized to it. This is something that really needs to be talked about. It's not anything that we plan to solve with theater on purpose, but it's definitely something we plan to get in their heads. I really want them to, right after they see the show, I want them to just sit for like five minutes and just think. We're gonna have a talk back and I want them to start thinking through like, okay, I have this emotion in response to this, what do I do with that? The thing I liked about this show as I walk away from it is 
the, uh, it really leaves you asking uh, important questions. I want them to wrestle with the subject and to see the world in gray as it is and not in black and white and that there's not always a specific side that you can pick to an issue. Well, what I think you guys really did was you did, you brought up a discussion topic, you brought up an issue, you didn't give like this is the right way to do this, this is the wrong way, like this is the right way to handle guns and violence and this is the wrong way. You brought it up as something to discuss. I think people can benefit from a discussion like this. We always want to share our own opinions, but in a setting like this, like after seeing the show and then opening it up for discussion, everybody was willing to listen to. And I think theater does something that politics can't, that our news always can't. Um, it allows the gray to come through. Art is a very accessible way to get people um, to start thinking critically and creatively about things. I thought it was powerful in a way where it was like abstract, but it was at the same time like you really understood what was going on. These people are so talented and I don't know, it was cool. It was powerful, I liked it. Um, with this um, play, this production, this show, um, it's different than what um, you would have a regular actor do. Um, because when you go to a regular show and you audition for um, a play, a musical, something of that nature, you, you get a script in hand. The characters are already developed, the story's done, the hard work, the research, the blood, sweat, and the tears um, aspect of the story coming together has already been, has already been done. But with a production like this, it's, it's you. Um, you put yourself into it and you weave yourself into this kind of show. And so it, it's not just words on paper anymore. Theater on Purpose in general is a theater program that is more than a theater program that makes people look not at the surface of themselves anymore, but makes them look even deeper. I know I'm going to look back at this experience um, with theater and purpose with a lot of uh, gratitude and a lot of uh, thanksgiving to God. We. We. We are. We are. We are. Theater on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> theater on purpose. Theater on purpose. We are theater on purpose. We are theater on purpose.